Using ChatGPT effectively and staying up to date with its latest upgrades is one of the smartest skills you can develop right now to automate your business and content creation. The new ChatGPT image generator just got a major boost. You can now create AI images with built-in text that is actually accurate, perfect for menus, infographics, posters, and more. You can also refine the image through natural conversation and it keeps your style or character consistent. In this video, I'll show you exactly how it works with a real example. First, let's take a quick scroll through OpenAI's announcement. It's one of the biggest updates in recent AI news, showing how the new AI image generator can now handle long ChatGPT prompts and actually place the right words inside the image, something most AI tools still struggle with. And yes, this works with the free ChatGPT, which is amazing. So if you've been searching for an AI image generator that's free, that actually gets text right, this is the one to use. What I'm gonna do now is demonstrate how I use the new updated ChatGPT AI image generator to create some images for a fun personal project of mine. I'm in a group chat with some friends and we follow a sport, Australian rules football, and each week we tip who we think the winners will be from that week. And we have a leaderboard week by week as to who's winning. So a friend of mine actually used the old ChatGPT AI image generator to come up with this image here. Essentially, you can see in the background we have a leaderboard with my friend's name, Kirk, with Pete at number two. And this image was supposed to be an image of one of the guys who follows an unrelated football team here. You can see with the old ChatGPT that it really had no idea how to create this background. There's a lot of jumbled words here. The only thing it got right is footy tips and then a couple of words. In terms of the bar in the background, it looks pretty good. Here's another word that doesn't make sense. And the writing on this soccer jersey just is wrong as well. But at the time, that was a fun little image that they used to put in the group chat and have a bit of fun with. So fast forwarding a week, I'm actually number one ranked in the footy tipping comp at the moment. And what I wanted to do was combine the current leaderboard, which is full of rich text, the original image that was made by my friend, and just an image of me as a reference image. And essentially the prompt was to create an image of the footy tipping leaderboard similar to that of the existing image, but using the data from the table that I uploaded and change the face on the person to look something like me. I also specified to only show the top five in the leaderboard, just limit it to showing this column, this column and this one. And this was the first image that came back. Now straight away we can see that it's taken the information almost perfectly. It's got all the spelling correct, the numbers, even the name of the comp. In terms of how it got my face, well it's okay but not really the best but it's kept that original shirt. So pretty good start from ChatGPT. I then asked it to do it again but make it have more people in the background make it so it's like a busy bar. So it essentially took that exact same table and image of me. And this is the important thing that's really groundbreaking in ChatGPT is it can really keep the consistent character generation and details and follow through between each iteration of the image. And then you can see in the background, we have got that busy bar. So it's, it's done a really good job there. Next, I asked it to make the leaderboard a glowing neon sign, like in the original reference image, but remember to keep it at just the top five place getters. You can see it repeated number five, Pete Yahoo down here. And the result, I'm actually really liking this neon sign. It's a lot clearer to read. It really draws your eyes to the numbers in the sign there. It's iterated me, I'm still looking the same, and the busy bar remains in the background. You can see that it's dropped the right column here, the total tips, which is the most important column off of this iteration. So I've asked it to do it again, but just put in that relevant column. And here is that image. The iteration's getting closer and closer. You can see there's a lot of repeatability here. We've lost some of the words off the bottom here, but that's all right, I could introduce it again later if I wanted to. I texted this to my friends and they loved it. However, one of the guys said, well, where's my beard gone? Because this is supposed to be actually Pete, I think. So I said, all right, well, let's put a beard in there. And there you go, here it is with the beard. The bar's getting even better looking now. Everyone in the background's wearing a similar kind of shirt. The footy tipping banner has just got even more simple. It's just got the five names with the scores in the background. The image of me is covered it a little bit, but you can still see I'm up the top there at 15 points. At this point, my friend was saying, hey, it doesn't look like me. I didn't tell him it was supposed to look like me. So I uploaded an image of him that I pulled from Facebook. I blurred out his face for privacy sake, but I noticed he's got a grad cap on here. So I asked ChatGPT to give the character this person's face, keep the beard and the grad hat. And here's the image that came back. You can see we've got the original jersey in there. This character's face is looking quite like my friend Pete. We've got that big beard again, and the grad cap is in there. Again, importantly, we've carried over that consistent looking leaderboard. Now we've got 
this blue neon sign with yellow writing and we can still see the numbers in the background there. At this point I decided I wanted to get a more official looking jersey here but I had no idea which team that jersey is from so I asked ChatGPT what that team was. It came back and said Crystal Palace Football Club. So I googled that team's official jersey and was about to upload it to ChatGPT and ask it to include it into this photo but then I had a bright idea. There was a game of Aussie Rules Football currently going on and one of the teams was called Western Bulldogs that was playing so I google searched an image of Western Bulldogs player Guernsey and uploaded that and said hey make the character wear this Guernsey and make him muscly. And this is the final image I went with to send to the guys. So summing up we've got the leaderboard of the 40 tipping competition in the background with the top five rankings. We've got the score a little bit hidden in the background but you can see that I'm up the top with 15 and Pete down the bottom is 13. We've iterated to get this character with my friend Pete's face complete with the grad cap and the beard that he wanted and we've changed the Guernsey to be a Western Bulldogs Guernsey and we've made him nice and muscly so that'll keep him happy. So that was a fun little project but if you want to see how to apply this updated AI image generator inside ChatGPT to create valuable content for your business then check out this video next to see the top 10 use cases of how to do that. Also subscribe to the channel for more ways you can use AI to automate your business and life. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.